Here we go. Ready? Oh, he's better than me. Yeah. Showtime. <coughs> Showtime. You want your coffee? No, I'm good. You sure? It's kind of close to my project. Oh, okay. Put it over there. Well, next to my coffee. All right. Thanks, buddy. All right. What I want to show you guys is how to tune up a, uh, a scraper. This one's in not very bad shape, but... Al, point it over there. You see what I got to do, guys? I got to clean up all that mess over there. Al, you see it? Right there. Right in here. Yeah, and the only way to do it is to like with a scraper and sandpaper and stuff. All right, so come back over here. The first thing I want to do on this edge, can you see that? Al? It's kind of yeah. beat up. You know, you you feel that's good. You feel it with your thumbnail, okay? And it's a little bumpy and rough. So what you want to do is put in your vise, take your mill file, and just lightly take that all that junk off, okay? See that out? I'm just trying to square it up, buddy. Until I can see like it's it's the same kind of daylight the whole way down the blade. You see that? Kind of cool, right? All right. Then after that, you know, I've created a really rough edge on both sides of this of the uh, metal. So this is just a block. I take my uh, one of my sharpening stones out. Sharpening stone. Water stone. Water. How's the water? They call it water. There's it's no water. R's in New England. Water. <laughs> water. How's the water? All right, so you see what I'm doing here, buddy? Yeah. I'm just taking taking the junk off. I have it on a piece of wood because I don't want to stay in my bench. You know me, I hate that guy. So, you know, if you don't want to wreck your stone, you can kind of put it on the side of it. It's just to take the burr off that the file created out. You know what I'm saying, buddy? Sounds good. This is kind of important. You know, you want to flatten this. This is old world. Yeah, I mean, look at me. I mean, you can see that I abuse most of my stuff out. You know, look at the nice one over there. I, I buy them frequently because they end up blue the scrapers. Most these, of the time. these are these are throwaways for you, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, I don't have time to be shopping and everything. Hey, you know, you're a, anyone can do this stuff. With you're a, a busy board. man. You like my rag I'm wearing? Excellent. <laughs> Hope you don't tear at this stuff. I got this in Hana Hotel in Maui. Awesome. People always call when I'm filming. All right. Okay, so anyways, next step. Back in the vise, right, Al? Back in the vise. This is a burnisher, right? There's a, why is it a tro Why do you have a flat one instead of a round one? I don't like the round ones. Okay. But what, what I did with this one is, you can see this one is sanded down, and I wanted to round this over. When you first buy these, they're very, very sharp. And they're too sharp for the, um, I'm up here and I'm not. They're too sharp to friggin' to curl this uh, metal over. So you want to kind of hit it with a lot of sandpaper and round this over a little bit. Now, now, here's another little trick that not many people would tell you to do. You know, I learned this on my own. Just put a little bit of oil on there. You know what I mean? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. All right, put a little on your burnisher. Now watch this out. Can you see in there? Yeah. You put much pressure on that? No, hardly nothing. Hardly anything, whatever. See? And now you just want to tilt it a little bit. You're rolling that edge, right? Roll it, baby! Just like you, you're rolling. You can hear I'm pushing down on it. Like, I don't like to use drill blanks or whatever. This is very dangerous, Al. I've seen people stab their, fa their hands into this, and they get too excited when they do this, and you really just got to be careful, because this thing right here is very, very sharp. And as a matter of fact, this is like my favorite tool. Once I've learned how to use this thing. Okay, now I can just barely feel that there's a there's a little burr on it. What do they call that, Al? A I, call it a, I call it a rolled edge. But a rolled edge. Well, that's good. You know, you can talk, buddy. It's I okay. can? Yeah. But I'm tongue-tied today. Are you? You want to tell Trey how you feel about your head being on the logo? I'm telling you, that's an awesome picture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's good. We look, like, we look like a couple of cartoon characters. I know. I know. Well, yeah, we're a couple of characters. This is, this is extremely exciting to watch you put a rolled edge on a file. On a it's not a file. I'm, I'm sorry, not. a scraper. 
Yeah, but you know what? This is, this is an important it friggin' is. tool. Think it about is. it. Yeah. I mean, how long has it been? A couple of minutes? Give me a break, dude. A couple of minutes. Look, I'm almost done. But, I mean, I filed it. Well, you started with a relatively good edge. Yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, this stuff kind of sucks. Well, I'm cooking with gas now, huh? Hey, your, hey, your motor. It's on bursting the flames. All right. <laughs> Let me get some kindle. Let's see if we can start a fire. All right. Now, let's see how it works, buddy. Here we go. The moment of truth. You feel that edge? Huh? Yeah, just a slight little burr. Can the folks see it there? Uh, I can don't you even know. see that? Probably not, huh? Okay. I mean, it's barely anything out. Let's say this. You know? Well, I mean, I can show you. You know, that's gas. There you go. It's, it catches some. It catches some now. No, I'm really not. It still needs to be more sharp. Because you want it to have a. You see the burr? You want it to be. Yep. You want it to roll a burr on it. You don't want it to be dust. Okay. So now you can see that I'm getting some dust out of oh, it. Oh, you got me, huh? Oh my God! Keep stopping that. No you know time. that looks that looks like the hair curls in Annie. Oh, you know what are you gonna say? I'm sorry. All right. So look at Al. See all this is rough. I gotta come in kind of on an angle, just a little bit. See that? I mean, it's dust because it's all ingrown. But that's it. Looks oh, good. Oh, another thing. It gets wicked hot. The friggin' thing. Right out, the friction it does, of it. Yeah. And what's a cool little trick? Where's my thing? You see it over there? The Verizon uh, sticker? The magnet? Uh, yeah, let me find you it. You can buy this, buy that, buy all sorts of things right here. But this is all you need. You know, it's just a, a magnetic thing I got from a company and I put it on the back of my, my thumbs. And oh, that keeps me from. Great idea. Burning my fingers. Great idea. We pull a good little tip I mean, on I'm there, telling right? you. And that's it. You can see that I got a lot of work to do on this one now. Yeah. I'm not kidding, I'm not. Sorry. I got a lot more work to do on this one, but you want to check that one out, Al? This one's done. Let's go check it out. Here's the finished product. Let's scrape this one. This is scraped. How long did it take you to scrape this one? Oh my god, my look my thumbs are killing. My god, your thumbs are pumped. <laughs> and this is the this is the good one. This is the, the Lee Nelson one. Not that it, the Lee Nelson makes a better one. Yeah. Unless they promote me, then they make the best tool on the planet. I agree. I agree. But, you know, Tom, it's got a really good edge on it. Tom, Le Tom Nielsen, I'd love one. So that's it. This is what a scrape is used for, guys. And that's how you tune it up. And this awesome. is how it works. That wasn't bad, right? Yeah. Five minutes, buddy? That was beautiful. That was you great. Want to say anything to anybody? I do. Uh, I want to tell you that the Lee Nielsen tools are probably the best tools I have ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, I use them exclusively. Uh, I'm missing a few. I would love a full set of Tom Lee Nielsen tools. Oh, no kidding. Me too. And I'll tell you. What want is a bench. Uh, uh, Tommy wants a bench, bench and I want a set of one. all the tools that they make. And I'll tell you, you'll be, be my you'll be my buddy one. forever. Me? But, well, not you. Tom Lee Nielsen will be my buddy forever. I can get rid of you. As long as I have the tools. <laughs> I'll be irreplaceable. Oh, uh, that's true. Irresistible. Over and out. That's all, folks.